Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. It is Monday the 19th of March and this is my daily setup video from our Stocks Signal Service. I'm choosing along today, Thursday and Friday last week. You see down on the homepage of the members, we look for shorts on O and GPOR. Those orders are still good. They've not triggered, but everything's still good with those particular videos. So if you want to take a look on the homepage there. Uh, also, our members get daily signal alerts in the form of spreadsheets both long and short trades on weekly daily and 60 minute time frames they simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet so look at the longs uh, for today uh, I've chosen a, a, a long on a 60 minute time frame but we get it on weekly daily and 60 minute there so this is uh, just an example of what the spreadsheet looks like. Let's have a look at the chart for the stock I've chosen today. Okay, so from the signals alerts, I've chosen a 60 minute time frame. HDB is the ticker. Um, first of all, we need to understand that the, the scanner put, has certain filters. The 535 oscillator down here in green and red, the oscillators pull back between 90 and 140 percent, as you can see in there. Also, the stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone and the wave force pulled back into one of our high probability pullback zones. It's in the red zone. I'll discuss that in a minute. For those members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader version for the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. From wave 5 trade and just to show you how to isolate we've got the lows down here on the 60 minute chart so simply that's where you isolate the wave count for this particular trade setup here on your indicator suite the indicator suite is also available for think or swim trade station and multi charts so let's go and have a closer look at this setup here So we've had a nice bullish move uh, on, on a third wave, big impulse leg, and then a couple of days on this six minute time frame, we've pulled back into our automated pullback zones. Now the red zone is the last chance saloon, um, is a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in the blue. So the 535 is good. It's between 19 and 140%. You see at the bottom, stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone. We seem to have found really good support here in our red zone. So we're looking for an entry. We've got to be sensible here. Um, we don't want to go in too early just in case we get another one of those really weird bearish days in the markets again. So what I've done is gone above. If we look left here on the third wave, we've got a resistance level right here. So those highs are 98.87, okay? So what I've done is gone for an entry at 98.89, and for the second hour of the trading session for Monday, this will be outside of the 6.4 moving average high. This is part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, uh, and this is what we call a conservative entry. Uh, so we can, you know, we're above resistance levels are also uh, outside of the 6.4 moving average high. Very much doubt it will trigger in the first hour of the session, um, but if the, if the momentum continues to gather from here, we're looking second or third hour uh, to trigger long into this trade. The stop loss is just a few cents below the wave fall there, so around about uh, 97.58. And then the target level is around about $101. So we've got a risk to reward here of 1 to 1.6 into our target level. Our target price, a zone here in blue, is all automated in our indicator suite. So that's it today. This is very, very simple setup. We get the scanners. We can use our Elliott Wave indicator suite just to confirm where we are. Look for the entry strategies. Very, very simple. Uh, and then this, so this is the potential long on HDB on the 60 minute time frame for Monday, the 19th of March. So have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.